and welcome to this video of ANSYS Fluent. This is part 2 of demonstration of flapping door with a simple harmonic motion using dynamic mesh. In this video, I show you the UDF that I have used to define the simple harmonic motion of the door and dynamic mesh setup. First, let's take a look at the UDF. On top of my code, I have defined the frequency of the motion to be equal to 2, the angular frequency is equal to 2p multiplied by frequency, and the maximum deflection of the door which is equal to 2 degrees, and I have converted it uh, to radian by multiplying by p over 180. I have assumed the door as a rigid body and have used define underscore cg underscore motion macro to define the motion of the door. By using this macro, we can specify the motion of a particular zone by providing fluent with the linear and angular velocities. In this case, the three components of linear velocities are zero. X and Y components of angular velocity are also equal to zero, but the Z component is a sinusoidal function as defined here. Next, I'm going to compile this UDF. To do that, I go to user defined tab, functions, and compiled. Here, I add the UDF, first build it, and then load the UDF. To define dynamic mesh for this case, I need to enable dynamic mesh. As you see here, we have three mesh methods, smoothing, layering, and remeshing. For this case, I use smoothing and remeshing. Since the motion of the boundaries in this case is not very large, only smoothing may be sufficient. Remeshing happens when skewness or size of the cells exceeds some specified limits. Then I define the flapping motion of the door by creating a dynamic mesh zone at the door wall boundaries. The door is moved as a rigid body and its motion is defined using the UDF that I just showed you. Also, I need to define the location of the center of gravity. In this case, I want the center of gravity to be at the middle of left side of the door, which is at x and y equal to 0 meter. Now I want to set global dynamic mesh settings. For a smoothing, I use the diffusion method. The diffusion parameter determines how the smoothing is diffused throughout the zone. A diffusion parameter of zero causes a uniform diffusion of the boundary motion into the interior of the mesh. A value of 2 results in region away from the moving door absorbing more of the motion. In this case, I assign a value of 1. In remeshing settings, I enable local cell. Then I need to specify the minimum and maximum length scales, as well as cell skewness that Fluent will use to mark the cells that need to be remeshed. By clicking Zone Scale Info, I can see what properties the mesh already has. I use this to assign the parameters of remeshing. Before launching the calculation, you can preview the motion of the door using Display Zone Motion. We can also preview the mesh motion using Preview Mesh Motion. Note that the mesh motion will actually update the node locations as well as the connectivity of the mesh. So you must make sure to save your case file before doing the dynamic mesh motion. This concludes the demonstration of flapping door using dynamic mesh in ANSYS Fluent. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.